the customer service, the views, the location, we're honestly top notch. So all that breakfast for $11, is actually not bad at all. I mean, look at this. You got the famous street here in Antalya. You got the beach. Now that's pretty cool. Alright folks, welcome to Cram Plaza Antalya. It's a, a bit of an older hotel, but man, this room has got a freaking view. So let me show you the room, let me show you the view, let's show you what this place looks like. So let's get started. Now we are on the ninth floor, which is the top floor of the building. We're at room 910. And when you walk in, and this is a two bedroom hotel, one of the rooms right here, it's got its own bathroom. So it's own full complete bathroom, stand up shower. You have a sofa that can turn into a bed. And then you have two rollover beds they brought in. So it's a total of five people and a small table. This is a sneak peek into the view right there. You have one TV here. Going into the second full bathroom, you have two faucets. You got a jacuzzi, looking out at a partial ocean view, and then stand-up shower. King bed, and my favorite part with the balcony. I mean, look at this. You got the famous street here in Antalya. You got the beach, and you got the shops all around you. That's a swimming pool right here. Really large size pool. But look at this view. And that over there is the famous Lotta Street. And you got, of course, mountain views as well. Looks like you got the, you know, the RV line right there. You got the whole RV crew over there. And you got people in the water, for sure. You got some folks like all the way over there, right at the rope. And so far, amazing crew, amazing leadership team here. Literally, like the entire leadership team came over, shook my hand, introduced himself, make sure the stay was good. Like I said, the hotel is a bit older, but uh, the customer service, the views, the location, were honestly top notch. So, so far, highly, highly recommended. All right, so it's our last day here. Uh, I'm gonna go check out breakfast. Now breakfast here, it cost us money. It's 200 lira and one kid is free. They charge the other kid 200 lira. I think it's about 20 bucks, but well, let's see. 11 bucks. So the exchange rate right now is 18 to one. So $1 is 18 Turkish lira. So that's the exchange rate right now. I know it's changed drastically in the last couple of months. So all that breakfast for $11 is actually not bad at all. Honestly, it's a pretty good breakfast. I'm very shocked how good it is. I was not expecting that much breakfast, that much food at the Cramp Plaza. So very, very impressive. In my opinion, it's better than some of the Hilton hotels we've stayed at. It has, I mean, it has a, look at this. It has a bunch of cheese. I probably went a little cheese crazy. Yes, it has kaimak, which is very you know, one of my favorites. This right here, and you put honey on it. It's a whole different world. So, and I just realized I forgot bread, so I need to go back and get bread. But definitely breakfast, A plus. All right, so I've got my kaimak, put honey on it. Let's give it a taste. It's very, very good. Got a bunch of olives. And I got my loaf bread. And of course. Turkish tea. Kaimak is very, very good. All right, guys, so breakfast done. Let me show you the swimming pool. And I'll tell you, we've been watching it from the balcony. This place is packed, like pretty much all the time. 
We are right there. All right, so they have a, like an underground tunnel that takes you to the beach from here to the other side. It's my first time going, so we'll see how it looks. This is crazy. So we are literally walking underneath the busy street that all the cars pass on. It definitely smells good. Like it doesn't smell bad at all. So once you leave here, towels and umbrellas, all that is on your own at the public beach. I hear the beach, I hear the ocean and the sun. Now that's pretty cool. They got lifeguards over there. How cool is that? Look at that freaking view. You got the mountains, the sea, the beach, amazing sun. And this is where a lot of people walk right there. And that's our hotel over there. Business center, so they have a business center that's pretty big. It's got a couple tables in there that you can bring your own laptop or use their old desktop. They do have a couple of table, pool table, and you know, have fun with your friends still here. All right, so before we check out, let's do uh, overall feedback about the hotel. So positive, you know, positive, I would say one of the best customer service crew I have seen here. The majority of the leadership team here, the minute you walk into a hotel, they're literally standing right in the front, which is extremely rare. I don't think I've ever seen that or I haven't seen that in a long time. And then you literally have multiple managers, not just one, but multiple managers standing in the front of the hotel, right by the main door. The minute you walk in, they're greeting you, they stand up, they shake your hand, they offer you a coffee, tea, on house. They offer you there's anything else they can do to make your experience a positive one. So they're definitely very, very well trained. And it's the same script every time you uh, go through the door. So they have like memorized. It's like they can say it when they're sleeping. The crew, the leadership team is very, very amazing. I mean, they literally check up on you. Even housekeeping. When the housekeeping was cleaning the room, the manager showed up a couple times just to make sure that we were happy with the service, which I don't think we've had that ever. Just being uh, being transparent. So, so that's very positive. Uh, the breakfast, amazing breakfast for two. 200 lira. It's better than the breakfast you get outside. At this point, there is no point of going outside and having breakfast. I would just have breakfast here, call it a day. So the uh, location is phenomenal. You know, if you're right on Akvenis Street, aka Konyalte is what it's called as well. You can walk to a lot of the bars, a lot of the restaurants, the beach is right there. I mean, you have a, a park up the street where you take your family and kids. And the location is very, very good. You know, I really like it. And that's the beauty of uh, Antalya. Even though it's like, you know, multiple parts, each part has its own, you know, unique thing about it. So we really, really like this. So you really don't need a car. There's a bunch of taxis around and you can walk to it and you've got the scooters here and that you'll see, you know, I took the kids on the right. Do you know you next? Oh, yes. Mary, I'm wait. I see them. So that's the uh, other positive. You know, if I had to give it the negative, the Wi-Fi is been very, very hard. And I know I might be a heavy user, but I'm just thinking of someone that wants to watch a Netflix show or a movie. You know, it was, it was taking nine hours to download one video of mine. And that was like two gig, two, two and a half gigs. And even when they gave me a special access, the first file was, you know, four hours. The second file was still back to like nine, 10, 12 hours. And then most of the time, it just, it didn't finish. It was like failed. So like the connectivity is not constant. And that's pretty common. In Turkey, unfortunately, the you know, majority of the hotels we've been to, uh, we've had a Wi-Fi issue. So it's not just this hotel, it's I think it's a Turkey thing from a Wi-Fi perspective. And even the special access they gave me, I was getting five up, five down. And the minute I, uh, I downloaded one file, it was down to like 500 kilobytes. The speeds are very, very slow. I mean, it's like a little better than dialogue. 
I would say. So, so that's you know, one opportunity you know, that they can work on. And the second one is TV. TVs are very old. One of them, the, the screen would come on barely, uh, and the other one comes on, but you can't change the channel. So it's stuck on you know, Istanbul weather, Istanbul hotel. So uh, the TVs are original for this hotel, I feel like. We literally have not watched TV in like four days, five days we've been here. So we just didn't put in TVs on the tablet and let the kids watch it that way. So there's, those are two things, Wi-Fi and TV. Uh, and, and my thing, the rest of it is on point. Overall, this hotel is $320 a night for the suite that we got. So it's definitely, definitely very expensive. I even checked the price for today for Friday. It was $350 bucks a night. It's a very expensive hotel. I mean, you can get a resort, all you can eat resort on Lauder Street for about $250. And up. the fact that this costs $350 and up, or $300 plus, and, and it's still missing some of that stuff. And, and it has, it's labeled as a resort, but it, you have to pay for everything. So just keep that in mind, if you truly come in here for the first time, I would look at the all-inclusive resorts on Lara Street. The prices would be equal to this or better, in my opinion. Even like the most popular Titanic Beach Hotel, that one starts out at $350 if you book it in advance. And the other one is, I think it's called Akra, A-K-R-A. -A. And that one is the same thing, $250 up, $275 up for a price. So that's the overall feedback on this hotel. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to follow us if you're not doing so. It means a lot to us. And we can't wait to continue to show you everything this world has to offer. Thanks so much, guys.